Sunny Days 305 Degrees Podcast. And I'm here with another USP Atlanta story. You know, um, oftentimes in, in USP Atlanta, most times things are really like on high alert. And as quiet as it gets sometimes, that's when you really have to pay attention of what's going on. You know, I remember one time that the guards was beating us so bad, was whooping people so bad in, in USP Atlanta that those of us that, those people that was over crews and over gangs, all of those leaders got together and they decided, man, we was going, they was going to do something to the police. You know, on a particular day, in the child hall. And so some kind of way that thing got leaked out, but it was, you know, and that probably was good because it was gonna be bloodshed in there because like we could not trust the COs. And so I remember another incident, you know, I was out on the rec yard, you know, with my Tula Shakur, getting my exercise on. And all of a sudden I hear gunshots. So the first thing I do is grab at my waist to see if I got my gun, you know, cause I done flash back to some war type stuff. And so once I had my gun, I got to the ground because in USP Atlanta, it have a big wall around it. And so when I heard those gunshots, you know, it sounded like the gunshots was coming directly at me. You know, and you could hear the ricochet. And so in, in Atlanta, you know, and those, they have gun towers. And so when things jump off, you know, they, they fire a couple of warning shots, you know, and then after that, you know, they, you know, they going, you know, it, the, the possibility of you getting shot in prison is very, very great. And so I, I remember seeing that stuff and I, you know, I, I thought I was dreaming. I could not believe that I heard gunshots like that in prison and so that's how it that's how it was in usp atlanta you know no day was dull and like i say even when things were quiet you know that's when you really had to pay attention to things because something was going on and, and some things was about to happen you know i remember in other instances where where different crews get into certain type of beefs you know, they'll, they'll set a date to, to meet out on the rec yard and all they people go at it. You know what I mean? Like, like charge and stab each other's up. You know, that's the, that's the type of stuff, you know, that was going down in USP Atlanta. You know, so like I say, it was never a dull moment. It was never a moment where you could relax. You always paranoid. You always tense. And like I say, the quieter that it gets, you know, that means something is about to go down. And I tell you that, that whole USP penitentiary type atmosphere, it was out of control, you know, especially after the um, the murder of one of the guards there, you know. And so the guards, they, you know, they brought a new warden with the intentions of taking back over the prison because the inmates was running that prison in USP Atlanta before Warden Willie Scott got there in around late the summer of 1995, you know. And so I just wanna just come on and continue to talk about these prison stories and tell you about things that you probably wouldn't think that go on in prison. Man, prison has a whole life for itself and that USP Atlanta in the 80s and the 90s and the, the early 2000s was a very, 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 dangerous place to be so once again this sunny day 305 degrees podcast just sharing some more uh, uh atlanta penitentiary stories um also like there were people in usp atlanta that we used to see on tv and documentaries you know so those uh mafia crime bosses nikki scoffo and 
and, and New York crime bosses and, and, and people that they made the movie Scarface off and Goodfellas. So I was locked up with them people, with some of them in the same unit and sometimes sitting in the same TV room, you know, when they would look at them documentaries, you know, and they'll be talking, yo, 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 Joey, that's why I should have whacked that guy, you know, and you know, they're, they're not telling it right. And that's why I whacked him, you know, and so, I, you know, I be looking at the TV and looking at them and, and I still ask myself, you know, why do they have me and my brother? in places where they have mafia crime bosses at, you know. And USP, USP Atlanta was a place that they held Al Capone there. Uh, USP Atlanta was a place where they held Marcus Garvey there. So so a lot of our freedom fighters and a lot of people that, that done really good in our community, they was housed in USP Atlanta, you know. And like I say, I often ask myself, you know, how did I graduate? to be locked up in, in, in a place where, where uh, people uh, were really, really about their life out there in the street. So yeah, so this sunny day, 305 degrees podcast with some old USP Atlanta Penitentiary stories. Y'all check out my YouTube page at Albert Sonny Campbell. Hit the like button, subscribe, and share this content, especially to our children that's a little bit going to the left. Peace. This is Sunny Days 305 Degrees Podcast. Our community said they wanted a platform that they could get their ideas and their messages out. Hence, Sunny Days 305 is on fire.